So when you reach this exercise here, right, or the um, questions here, uh, where's my code diva? Um, I have a code diva here, and I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna call this. Um, so let's close that for the moment. All right. So um, it's always if you see what I'm doing here. It's always helpful to have a Codiva always ready and uh, in the meantime, and you are reading through. Okay, so let's do that way. And I want to create a new one again in chapter two. And let's just give a name. All right. Now, if you guys create a program with the same name, I will be very suspicious you copy each other because every everyone's supposed to think about their own name of the class, right? So for this exercise, uh, what should I do here? And I can name anything I want to, okay? So I'll probably say something like print, um, I don't know, like upside down triangle ish right kind of okay um it's it's a long name but that's fine i you want to have something like more meaningful here okay um or i can just say upside down triangle um and then i want to create so again the first thing here i want to do is call public okay um and um so i want to have a print now, since we are talking about, well, I'm going to just do this exercise here. And we know we need to do a for loop. So I'm going to have four. Um, then I will have an integer and nine equals one. OK. And then nine is less than or equal to five. And then nine plus plus. So I can use a variable called nine. Okay, so outside, I know I need to print five nines. Yes, agree, right? So I know I need to print five nines, but the trick here is that each line is different. Okay, so um, that's why, uh, where is my uh, PowerPoint? Okay, so that's why you need to have a logic here. So each line, it's different. That's the trick, okay, about it. And then we need to find out the pattern about it. So each line, I need to print, repeatedly print some um, dots here. But how many dots here I need to print? It's really related with the line. OK, so in here, I know the last thing. So the last thing needed to print is the line number, right? OK, so I know that I need to print system dot print nine and I need to print nine. OK, so this is the last thing I know I need to print. And now if you run this one, it's obvious that you print one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So you know the last thing you need to print is the nine number. Okay. So I need to add the code to print some, you need to print some dots. Right? Okay. Now how many dots you need to print? Again, go back to the PowerPoint here. You need to figure out the relationship, the relationship between the number of dots and the line, right? So you need to really figure out the relationship among the um, number of not, um, nines, okay, and the the dots you're gonna print, okay? Um, so. Do you need to print four of them or none of them? 
So what's the relationship here? And that's how you really need to have pen and pencil here. Exactly. So it's a nine minus one, right? So you need to print from one and two, nine minus one. So that's why, you know, the for loop is here for, okay? So you really need to have another for loop. You can call this anything you want to, right? You can call this like a J equals one, and then J is less than equal to nine minus one, and then J plus plus, right? Okay, and then we'll do system dot out dot print. This is the only print and we'll print star, not star, just dot here, right? Just one dot here, okay? So this seems like, okay, if you are nine one, right? And then uh, if we are nine one, and then the, uh, wait, nine one minus one, that's not right. Is it right? How many we're gonna print? It's actually, it's a reverse, right? It's actually five, it's actually reverse. It's actually five minus, am I right? So the formula is actually, you know, if we are in nine one and how many that we are printing, it's five minus one, which is a four, right? If we were in nine two, then it's actually five minus two. So the total number of um, the dot we are printing and plus the nine is equal to five. So you see the logic here, right? To see the logic here, you need to figure out how many dots you need to print, okay? So I think that's it. So if you run this one and you can see I get the output. All right, 